12 jobs. As you can see, I'm just planning and plotting a course on my autopilot. I'll be right with you because I've got some news. Hold on. Let's get this spun around in my shepherdy ship and fetch my dash cam. Yeah, that's good for insurance claims, this thing. Anyways, now if I just lean over here and tap this, bump, bump. And hopefully that's going to bring up my heads up display of the news anytime for you people inside of you of us. Boom! There it is right there. Oh, actually, that's a little bit too big and in the background. Hmm, how about if I just tweak it there? There we go, people. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? So this has been taken down now. This got put up over on Games Radar. Now, I had Dragon Sire hit me up and countless others, Kurt and all sorts, telling me that this has been leaked. That bomber boy managed to harvest this and tuck it away and share it with Dragon Sire, who shared it with me and all that sort of shenanigans. Or was it Hero X? It was Hero X, actually, people. Hero X hit me up. I had Rain Drake. I had Dragon Dragon Sire hit me up and assistant No Man's Sky, but Hero managed to squirrel us away inside of a Google Drive, people inside the view of us, which is awesome. So let's bring it up on screen. There we are. Games Radar. No Man's Sky Echoes update. Oh, I better say. Spoiler alert. Freaking spoiler alert. I'll put it inside the actual um, video de description on it and all that lot. Update features. It's first new race. A bunch of robots. Heck yes! I, for one, welcome new robotic overlords. Um, I don't know whether we should be welcoming robotic overlords. Look at that one staff. Looks like it's got a head stuck on top of a staff with electrical coming out of it. That looks like a pretty nasty cattle prod. And this one's sporting an, an old-style multi-tool. And I love the head on this one as well. The head on that one's really cool. Anyway, let's scroll on down and let's see what we've got. I mean, looking at this image, though, look, there's like um, a space station being blown to bits over there. It doesn't look like a normal abandoned one because it's got a blue hole in it rather than a red one. Maybe I'm reading into that too much, peeps. Is that a living ship? Is that a new type of ship taking off over there in the background from a settlement? Are they going to be touching settlements? Mm, hard to say. There's a squiddy ship flying over in the background over there. There's a giant freighter battle going up, 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 up here. People, I haven't read this. I have not read this. I, I, I just saw that it's there and I figured I'm going to jump on in. I'm going to do a video. So this is my proper reaction to this, people. This is my first reaction to it. No Man's Sky Echoes is about to introduce a brand new race of robots into their update later this week. Last week, No Man's Sky developer Hello Games teased the Echo update, touting it as the big update to celebrate the game's seventh anniversary. Now we have a better look at the new update, and it turns out it's boasting a brand new alien race of robots populating the rider reaches of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Now, it's hard to read this bit. Parts to create your very own robot avatar by engaging in assignments and mysterious rituals. These newcomers, with these newcomers. Okay, now there was an embedded video. That embedded video is on YouTube and it's listed as private. So it can't be seen right now, but it looks like we might be getting a further video, unless that was the Echoes video, but then why be set as private? So I think it's a new video. Okay. Elsewhere in the Echoes update, huge new pirate freighters are descending on the galaxy, bringing with them gigantic new space battles. No Man's Sky is doing its best Star Wars impression here, as you'll need to fly through trenches on ships to destroy shields and bombard the pirate freighters with your weapons. Is that going to be the dark freighter that Ariadne went on? It sounds vastly bigger than the freighters we've got in game now, since it's got trenches that we fly in. Ah, oh, man. There's also weird staff of sorts on offer in Echoes. Okay. You can assemble this special staff with scavenged parts and then use it to better both your mining and combat ventures. Leavening up the staff as you go to acquire different attributes that change how the staff functions. So those staffs that we're seeing on the Travellers or, or the new NPC race, we can have. We're going to become Space Wizards! 
Space wizards! Heck yes, didn't see that one come in. Finally, rendering quality and stability has been improved in Echoes, in particular PSVR 2. And Nintendo Switch players will see a big visual quality boost, if they can play it, making everything crisper on both platforms. I'm hoping that brings more stability to Nintendo Switch. Oh, it does say stability has improved stability and rendering quality. Nintendo Switch, you can finally play the game how it was meant to be played. Probably without multiplayer. No Man's Sky Echoes launches this week on Thursday, August 24th, across all platforms, commemorating the 7th anniversary of the Gargantuan game. Okay, now last time it said that it was launching on all platforms. Although it got pushed out to all platforms, Hello Games' side... You know, because of licensing and all that sort of shenanigans, it didn't come to all platforms on the 24th. So that's that's something to just be mindful of. Now, that's a little bit of a tease. Was this done on purpose? I'm not too sure. But I'd imagine this chap here, Hyron Kyra, is probably running for the high hills and probably crying right now if he pressed, yeah, publish. <laughs> because he published it early. Yeah, very early, really. I mean, technically, he should have published it on Thursdays, shouldn't he? Thursdays. But there we go, people. There we are. This has now been taken from the internet. If you try to hit up Games Radar right now, it takes you to the Singularity update. So it has been recanted rather quickly. It was only up for 19 odd minutes or so, or whatever, and then got completely zapped off the tinterwebs. So there we are, people. <laughs> That's kind of the gist of what might be in Echoes. Now, what isn't mentioned? is an accompanying Expedizione. There's no Expedizione mentioned there, but I'm going to be using this image as my freaking thumbnail. Heck yes, I am. That is some lovely cover art, and I really like this robotic head here. Heck yes, I do. Looks awesome. Anyway, people, I'm going to be ending off, and I hope that has made you as happy as it's made me, and I am super, super excited to be doing some uh, proper space combat battles to hear that it's its closest it can get to a Star Wars sort of clone of a game has got me super super excited people so hopefully that's cool and this new wizardy stuff yes space wizards that's got me very intrigued um is it going to be end game content is this going to all be stuff that can be hit up and enjoyed by every player or is this end game content because if it's if it's for every player then it's going to add to the amount of stuff that's overwhelming at the start and if it's not end game and it doesn't prove a challenge, then it's not really endgame content. We'll see how long this lasts. I don't want to under-hype it. I don't want to over-hype it. I'm just going by patterns previously. I don't want to get overly excited until I actually view the patch notes, until I see what else comes with it, because this could just be a slice. This could just be a portion of the update, or it could be the whole thing. We don't know. We don't know. It's a leak, and it was a leak too soon. Anyway, people, enjoy. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. Think about again.